in San Diego. Protecting your skin in the cooler months of the year is just important as it is during the summer when the sun is out shining bright. We've got Dr. Melanie Palm here, the director of Art and Skin MD. She's here to help. Good morning, Dr. Good Palm. Morning. Nice to see you. you Thank too. you for coming in too oh, because uh, I'm starting to feel it already mm -hmm. now that it's I know cooling down. The Santa Ana, so we're already getting a little bit of that dry weather. So we thought we'd talk about healthy skin, especially as we head into the holiday season. Okay, so what's the basic? I mean, what's the basic? What did you bring in here I in terms of lots of stuff in, in terms of hydrating. I just got off a flight from Canada yesterday, so definitely sort of lower temps, lower humidity. So we want to incorporate good moisture moisturizers that are not only thick mm -hmm. but actually have good active ingredients so things that I tell patients to look for are something called ceramides which is in some of the Cetaphil and CeraVe lines what is that called in it's called um, the ceramides, which are they're basically cholesterol-derived fats that our body normally makes, but in eczema skin, dry skin, we don't make enough. I see. And then if you go and see your dermatologist, there's actually prescription strength ones that contain that, but mm -hmm. then things like free fatty acids and hyaluronic acid, which mm -hmm. you may know of. It's in a lot of our cosmetic products. It's a good hydrating factor that brings water to the skin. I see. Okay, so that's a key ingredient. That's a, You definitely yeah, want I that. Tell patients ceramides, um, and then also looking for hyaluronic acid, and then if you're really dry, something emollient based, and especially if you're traveling, making sure that you're using that on your hands, even making sure that your mucous membranes are covered because with dry skin, if you get fractures in those areas, that's where infection is a little bit more likely. Yeah, and plus it just does not look no. very good. What do we have over here? So if you're really dry, something that I love is a thermal uh, water. This is from mm -hmm. Aven. It's got nice mineral components. It calms irritated red skin, hydrates at the same time. It's something great to have in either your gym bag or your travel bag. It, wait, it looks like a hairspray. It does. So it's aerosolized water and then they even have a hydrating mask. So something fun at home that feels really lovely and hydrates skin at the same time. Interesting. Okay, very good. And over here on this end? Yeah, so don't forget your humidifier at home. So especially if you don't have something that is able to do that sort of through your traditional way at home. Considering a, a humidifier, especially in your bedroom as you sleep, is a good way to kind of keep skin hydrated. And don't forget about sunscreen. Even though it's wintertime, we're in San Diego, we're still so getting true. tons of sun rays. So make sure you do that. I've selected some that actually have things like hyaluronic acid or have growth factors which calm the skin and hydrate it. And I've time. asked you this before in the summer, mm -hmm. um, SPF, does it matter? It totally matters. I think if you ask any dermatologist, we want you with an SPF of 30 or more, cover UVA and cover UVB. Mm -hmm. It's not only UVA light and UVB light, but it's also visible light and infrared light we're finding ages the skin. So make sure you're keeping yourself protected. That is such good advice. Of course, uh, we should we should be taking care of our skin, the largest organ, yes. right, in our bodies yes. year round, not just during the winter, but there's many other things that you can do and take. Absolutely. Absolutely, and so we brought pumpkins along. There's even enzymatic pumpkins. peels you can do if you like your pumpkin spice latte. Oh, you can do pumpkin cool. as an enzyme treatment on your skin to remove that just dead layer of the skin, similar to something like a glycolic acid. Very good. I know what I'm going to do with my pumpkins when I get home. <laughs> Dr. Palm, thank you so much for coming by. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank it, you. It gives us good advice. We'll put a video recap and more information on our website, kuside.com. All right, we're going to take a quick break here on this Sunday. We'll be back. Dr. Melanie Palm, everybody.